Hey everybody, I thought I'd do a little process video for how I make uh, YouTuber rigs, because I don't think I've done that uh, before. I think I made one when I made a VTuber rig for my friend Steffi, but I don't remember if I posted it publicly. I don't think I did. I think it was like a Patreon exclusive thing, but... But anyways, so here's some uh, footage of me streaming the whole process. Um... I think I have a total, this is, so, so everything you're seeing is, I think, about five hours worth of footage, uh, or, or a bit more than five hours, but, um, I think I spent maybe, like, an hour or something more, um, you know, just doing little details here and there, tweaking some stuff, so, in all, this probably took me about maybe six hours, I'd probably say, around that, which isn't bad, I think, I mean, some people go, like, way more in-depth and make way more, uh, sophisticated models. <laughs> mine, are, mine are a little simple, but uh, I don't know. I mean, it's easier on your computer if you keep it simple, you know? Plus, I don't have the uh, professional version or whatever of a... Uh, not VTube Studio. Uh, Live 2D. But, yeah. Otherwise, this like these early parts, honestly, I think half of this video was just me making, uh, you know, all the different parts for the puppet. And there were some things I was gonna try. Like, I considered having... Um, the hair split up into more parts, but I think it looks fine once you see at the end, um, kind of keeping it more simple, not having too many. Because I know a few times, I, th I think once or twice, I have actually gone over the uh, limit for the amount of, um, what would you call it, like puppet parts in a live 2D that you can have in just the free version. So uh, yeah, like I think this ear, I don't remember if I already showed it, but I was going to try and make the ear uh, be like two parts, so like the purple part and the pink part, and then you could use like a clipping mask. Kind of give it more depth so that you could see like the edge of the... Just like you could see the, the ear turning more in 3D. But I ended up not doing that because, uh, too much work. <laughs> Honestly, uh, if you take any art class, they always tell you, uh, keep it simple, you know. Yes. I think that's some good advice. Also, if you're wondering about the little uh, purple sheep in the bottom right, that's because I was streaming with my old rig. So that's the old rig on the bottom right. Um, that, but it's sped up, so he looks like he's passing out, going, uh, talking at lightning speed. And then obviously the top left is like the comments from the comments from the stream while I was streaming. But I blurred them because I don't know. Uh, you can't see the private usernames of people who were commenting. I don't know. I, I figured I'd stream it. Or I'd blur it because it was, I don't know. Sorry, I need to take some water. Um, so yeah, I'm still, I'm still, uh, making the rig at this point. Um, I do, whenever I've made rigs, I always go back to, um, I'm using Krita right now. I always end up going back to Krita and tweaking some stuff and re-importing re that, uh, Photoshop file back into the live 2D because you can kind of plan out a lot of stuff and I do try to plan out things uh, as best I can but you're you're probably always gonna end up you know needing to fix something after the fact and the nice thing about uh, digital art is that it's very easy to just go back and fix it and then you know re-import it uh, so one of the big one of the big things for me is that uh my old rig, the, the rig in the bottom right, uh, the old sheep rig, it was all black lines, but honestly, uh, maybe it's because I watched My Little Pony growing up or something, but I'm a, I'm a sucker for colored lines. I also did make them a little thicker because, you know, black is more of a, it has more contrast than a, you know, like a purple or a pink. But if you make the lines thicker, they're still easier to see if they're, you know, lighter in value. I thought that was uh, good to do. I don't know. <laughs> what else could I talk about? Um, another one of the things, uh, I used to always make my VTuber rigs not have uh, their own lash layer. You kind of, you might be able to see what I mean if you like pause the video. There's like a lash layer and a separate eye layer. But, uh, so if you look on my old rig, I actually... I used like a cheating method where the eye was just one layer set to like multiply. That way the you know, the green eye part 
uh, when it becomes a clipping layer, the eye layer above it, because it's just white and black, you don't have to do two separate layers. But but I did it. Th I did it the proper way this time. <laughs> and then also because I don't think I've made a VTuber rig in I don't know a couple months. I ended up uh, I opened up the another rig that I recently made. Maybe like actually I guess recently isn't totally true. I probably made it like a year ago. <laughs> Because I, I always end up checking my old stuff if I'm like, oh, I don't remember how to, I don't know, uh, freaking, I don't know, just whatever. Like, oh, I think I had, I, I went back later in the video, you'll see, I went back to this one rig that I did for some guy's, I think his name's like Savage, his like bunny character. Um, I, I really like the way I, I did his physics on his ears, so I went back, kind of towards like the very end of the video. Look like oh how did I do those physics? Cause I completely forgot. Cause if you don't do something every you know if you don't do something within like a couple months, you totally forget. Also, I don't know what is up with uh, live TD, but if you saw that mouth right there, there's like this little like indent in the mouth when you transform it with the uh, like the green square transform thing. I can't think of the name right now. I don't know why it does that. It always does that. <laughs> it makes a weird indent like that spot but uh what can i say yeah otherwise oh yeah you see like that lashing layer wasn't i haven't moved it yet so that lash right there that's the lashing layer and i use the free transform tool a lot uh i know you can use the freaking uh what do you call it the like the dots thing that i use on the ears but i find the free transform tool just a bit easier to work with for me and it's not like Using a bunch of different uh, vertices for the free transform tool, like it's not gonna like I don't know. At least on my computer, it doesn't like slow it down or anything. Yeah, that that thing that I'm using on the eyebrows. There's that, and then the free transform tool, or I think it's called the free transform tool. I don't even know the names of things anymore, man. I just know the pictures. <laughs> but yeah, I tried to make his tail wag. That was kind of fun. I was also considering having the uh, legs be two separate layers. I think I, if you saw in the sketch, I was trying to kind of break that up, but then I ended up not. <laughs> oh, one thing I do like, you'll kind of see it kind of more towards the end. Um, I made it so that when he smiles, his eyes kind of, that his like bottom eyelids lift up while he smiles. Uh, and I thought that was fun. Also, I, I, I fixed this part on the nose. See how I curved the uh, nose to kind of make it look, you know, more 3D and in perspective as you turn the head? Because his snoot is kind of, you know, spherical, sort of. I did that. That's something different that I didn't do in my uh, previous rig. Like, again, see on the bottom right? I think it looks, it, it looks better once I fix it. <laughs> I, I, I definitely don't always get... Uh, making a VTuber rig, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of similar with like 3D stuff. You can, there's definitely like a process, you know, you work from big to small. So I always start with the head, um, Z axis, you know, turning his head like, uh, what would you call it, like 180 degrees in an arc. And then I go, you know, to the face, and then I go to the eyes, and then I go smaller and smaller and stuff. But there's still like a bunch of really random details that you can like, do completely out of order. <laughs> oh yeah, here's me trying to use the physics uh, thing, and then I ended up scrapping it, and then I go back and look at how I did the other one and... Sorry, I need more water. Um, yeah, I don't know what was up with my stream, but it ended up only recording a bit of the physics window, because that's a separate window, and the way I had it set up doesn't record but it's not like you're missing anything when in like a minute when I go back to the physics you'll see what I mean oh and this I really liked this because this is something you see in vtuber rigs is when you know characters turn to left you can see the perspective of their cheek and for some reason I've never done this and I thought it would be like it would look worse than it is but like look it looks fine like when he turns left you can see the the curve of his cheek moving in perspective I'm like here there, there's me testing it out and then here I go back and I fix like some colored lines that were messed up somehow. And uh, yeah, that mouth was clipping, so I fixed that. Uh, I made a really ghetto this that that multiply layer for under his like top part of his hair. 
I, I was going to try to figure out some complicated way to uh, have that clip, but I ended up not doing it. It doesn't look too bad. <laughs> oh yeah, and I made his nose more in perspective here, so that when he turns like to the very top left or top right, you know, it covers his eye in a way that would look more, uh, I don't know, more like how a cartoon would do it. And yeah, there's me fixing it. Something weird happened with his eyes. I think, I, I it took me a while to figure it out, but I think I like used uh, uh, morph whatever, the green square thing <laughs> layer, and I didn't remember how to fix it. But as you can see, his two eyes are like different shapes right now, and it took me a while to realize uh, what I was doing wrong. But uh, you know, it doesn't matter how long it takes you. Eventually, I, got, I eventually got to figure it out. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I gave some more uh, perspective on his arms. I thought that looked nice. Or, or, I mean, as his arms are, like, you know, two separate layers, so... It's not too flat. It's not too flat, you know. Oh, this is the bunny, that guy. That guy was actually really funny because uh, I got a uh, an email from him. Which was weird because he has Twitter, so I don't know why he didn't DM me on Twitter. But I got an email from him asking for a VTuber rig. While I was at work at uh, my previous job when I was working at a school. And all I saw in my email was like, VTuber something something as the email headline. And I thought it was an email from the school like that I worked at. And I was like, why is this school emailing me about VTubers? <laughs> but it wasn't. It was, uh, it was a person buying a rig. I don't think it... I haven't really showed off a lot of the rigs I've made. But anyways, we're pretty much at the end. Uh, I feel like I didn't talk too much about the actual like process. There's a few things that I tweaked that you probably won't see that I just did randomly. But uh, yeah, that's, that's I guess that's how I make rigs. Uh, I hope that was edutaining. Uh, look, this is the rig that I made. You can see him. Look, he's uh, he's talking. The physics on his ears. See, if I go left and right, it goes left and right. But if I go up and down, woo, uh, it goes up and down. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So that's my video for the uh, last uh, two months, because I only ever post to YouTube every, like, five months or something. Uh, I hope it was fun. Uh, thanks for watching. See you all next time. Uh, bye. Bye.